Yo, what's going on YouTube world? In this video, we're gonna take a look at a program called Ear Trumpet. It's going to allow us to route audio for applications on our... It's going to allow us to route audio from applications on our computer to the appropriate audio source that we need it to go to. If you've watched one of my setup videos for Voice Meter Potato or Voice Meter Banana, we use the app volume and device preferences in the sound settings on Windows 10, and it doesn't quite work really that good that well. It's kind of inefficient. Sometimes it switches back and forth to default back to the source you want, or it just doesn't take control of the audio at all and i notice a lot of you guys are trying to use that that specific way of routing audio for literally everything game audio and all that stuff so instead of you know continuing to do that we're going to go ahead and point you in the right direction with this new program called ear trumpet Ear Trumpet is a program that's on the Microsoft Store. It's actually made back in 2016, so it's not really that new, but it's a great utility and tool to have on your computer. It is only seven and a half megabytes. The link for this is in the description below. Once you have Ear Trumpet downloaded, what you can do is go to the show hidden icons down here on your windows bar what you'll see is a new speaker icon within those hidden icons if you go ahead and left click on that it will open up ear trumpet now ear trumpet's going to display all of the audio sources that are on your computer including all the input sources and output sources as well as all of the applications that are utilizing them as you can tell, the applications are displayed with icons and the audio sources are displayed with these titles here. So what we have running to the voice meter VIO3 input is some desktop audio, the music application that I have, Google Play Music Desktop Player, and OBS is being displayed there as well. Same goes for all of the other input and output sources on my computer. If you have followed along with the updated voice meter potato or voice meter banana setup guides on YouTube, I suggest going to the app volume and device preferences within Windows 10 and setting the output for your browser and music applications to a specific source, sending the browser to the virtual audio cable and sending the music to the voice meter VIO 3 input. Now, what you've noticed while using this tool is that sometimes it will randomly switch back to the default device or with using Spotify specifically, it won't take advantage of the audio on that application whatsoever. So with using Ear Trumpet, we'll actually be able to gain full control over those audio sources and won't have this issue of them flip flopping back and forth between the source and default all of the time. What we're going to toy with is the virtual audio cable input, more specifically the browser input. I use the browser Vivaldi, so you'll see the Vivaldi icon listed in Ear Trumpet. Don't let that confuse you. If you use Google Chrome or something like that, think of the Vivaldi icon as the Google Chrome icon. Now, if you open Ear Trumpet again and you watch this little projector video here, what you're gonna see me doing is right clicking on that Vivaldi icon and it's gonna come up with two options, an arrow, uh, two arrows pointing in different directions and an X icon. If you click on the two arrows, it will come up with a list of audio sources that you can send that audio to. Go ahead and toggle the voice meter input or for this example, I'm gonna click on the voice meter input, which is the default device on my computer. And we're gonna test whether or not the audio is coming through the virtual audio cable or the voice meter input. Now going back to my browser and enabling the audio, we're gonna take a look at voice meter. And as you can tell in my second hardware input on voice meter potato, there is no audio coming through, which is set to my virtual audio cable here. It's actually coming through on the desktop audio source here. You can even see the Vivaldi icon here. In the voice meter VIO input section, you can see the little meter going up and down. Now we're actually gonna switch that audio back while this video is playing. 
So we're going to go back to the source here. I'm going to right click on the Vivaldi icon, click on the two arrows and switch it back to the virtual audio cable. And what you can see is that audio is now playing through the browser input in voice meter potato. I highly advise against using ear trumpet to control the audio levels. I know there's volume sliders for each one of the applications and sources within ear trumpet. I highly advise against using those altogether. Use voice meter or use gain filters within OBS, but don't use the sliders on ear trumpet. I know this was a short little video. If you're still confused after watching this video, feel free to hop in my discord server. Link is in the description below. We offer free support when setting up things like ear trumpet, voice meter, OBS, things like that. So if you need some support there, we have tons of smart people that volunteer their help to help you guys out. So definitely check out the Discord server if you're still confused with this application. With that being said, guys, that's going to conclude this video. So I want to thank you so much for watching it. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.